Edo Guba elections, I am answerable to Edo people, not any godfather. Ulumide Apata says. <laughs> Ulumide Apata is the governorship candidate for the Labour Party in Edo State, and he is now looking at the the Edo political landscape with respect to godfatherism this, in this season, and he's saying that he's funding himself. He's answerable to answerable to Edo people and not to any godfather, and that makes sense, right? Because if you look at the PDP in Edo State, what is happening between uh, uh, Obaseki and Iwodalo is a, is, is sign of godfatherism happening there. Then if you also go to APC and you see what Oshomo is doing to Pueblo, you see godfatherism already overshadowing everything there. So now the only party that is without a godfather is the Labour Party with Ulimi Dapata as the governorship candidate. I think other parties like AAC, SDP, and all those parties, though they are very, very small, we have also not seen evidence of godfatherism in the party. But PDP and APC, what is happening there is godfatherism. Okay, so the Labour Party governorship candidate in the September 21, 2024 election in Edo State, Olumida Apata, says he cannot be remote control by any political benefactor or godfather if elected in the office. So he made the uh, elected into office. So he made this statement on Channel's television politics today program on Thursday saying he is only answerable to the people of uh, Edo State. That is one reason the Edo people can trust the Labour Party government because we are answerable to the people. I have no strings attached. I am not answerable to any godfather. I am not answerable to any political benefactor, he said. So Daily Post reports that the forthcoming governorship election in the state has top contenders, including Apata Aso Iwadalo, um, Apata of Labour Party, Aso Iwadalo of People Democratic Party, among the people of the All Progressive Congress APC. According to the former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, which is Apata, unlike the other candidates attached to former and the serving governors, he is not answerable to any political godfather. And that is obvious. That is true. The Labour Party candidate also said his campaign is not funded by Governor Gordon Obaseki, whose anointed candidate is PDP, sir, you would have looked. Exactly, because some people have been carrying the rumor that uh, Gordon Obaseki is funding Apata, that Apata is his cousin. And Gordon Obaseki has put some backup plans in place so that if AP, if PDP fails, he will swing to the Labour Party with Apata. But Apata is now saying all of that is not true. Initially, I was said to be the agent of Gordon Obaseki. We were able to debunk that. Today, I was said to be sponsored by the APC. I think it is conspiracy theorizing, uh, theorizing that is most uh, sp stupid. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, that's theorizing conspiracy. That is not good. Because already, we have seen a publication saying that uh, uh, all media part of the Labour Party aligns with APC, you know, against PDP. And that is not true. <laughs> those, those are APC propagandists that are writing that in favor of APC. So what Olubi Dapata is trying to tell the Edo people is that he is not funded by any governor past or present. He is not answerable to any governor past or present. And he is not answerable to any benefactor. So nobody is funding him to take over the government after he has won. And so on that premise, he should be voted because he is answerable to the people. That is what he's saying. He's answerable to Edo people and Edo people alone, who are basically the electorate that will vote for him. So now, like I said earlier at the beginning, if you look at the political landscape of Edo, you will see that the key uh, parties that are running with godfathers are PDP and APC, frankly speaking. But if you put PDP and APC together, everybody, because of what APC has done, APC's performance in the past, uh, nine years in power, both as central and states, it is better to vote PDP. But if you put PDP, APC, and Labour Party together, I think it is better to vote Labour Party. The fear some people are having is that I will show uh, a party, even if he, if he wins the election, is he not going to decap to PDP or APC later? Okay, because a lot of them are on Labour Party, 
platform to use the platform to excel enjoy the support of the bidding that is what some of them are doing and how can apata prove that it's not one of them as well in that uh, category because we have seen them after winning the election both at the national assembly this they, they want to switch out of the party and then go to another party especially if you see all right so uh let me see are there comments Somebody saying, oh, God, lawyer, how market? <laughs> Can you imagine? What is how market? Are you saying it's not moving? If you put uh, Pebolo and uh, and uh, Pata together, who would you vote? Because the truth here is that uh, he is a Pueblo, uh, sorry, a Pata is uh, doing everything on his own and is engaging the people. A Pueblo is not engaging the people at all in any way. A Pueblo cannot come out and tell the Edo people uh, exactly what he has. People are speaking for him. Okay. So, uh, Akwata has already highlighted his independence from political godfathers, unlike his opponents, Mondo Pueblo of APC and uh, Asho Wadalo of PDP, who are affiliated with current or former governors. So, he denied claims that the Governor Gordon Nobasaki is funding his campaign, starting uh stating i am funding myself and i have friends who believe in me and that we can do much better in edu akwata dismissed rumors of his affiliation with obaseki or the apc calling them conspiracy theorizing and that is true so as the september 21 election approaches akwata's commitment to being a people-centered governor has resonated with edu citizens his promise to be independent and accountable only to the people has set him apart from his opponents with his professional background and the lack of political baggage. Akpata is, Akpata's candidacy offers a fresh perspective to Edo State's uh, governors. And that is true. He's, uh, he's offering a different pedigree, a different uh, uh, outfit, you know, in this, uh, in this election. So now that Akpata has spoken, and it is clear it is like that, so even if he wins, he's going to win on the platform of merit, and he's not going to be answerable to anybody, nobody's going to tie his hands to his back and then take over the government from him. Again, if he loses, he will lose on merit, he will lose credibly, and that is it. If he loses, he will lose credibly, and that's, that is what he wants. And if only every other person can be like that, then definitely there will be free and fair election. But with the way it is, ah, Godfatherism and rigging in the PDP and APC is obviously not going to let the election be free and fair. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comment. That was Akwata uh, speaking.